we don't make the big bucks, okay? We don't make the big bucks, but uh, we work pretty hard to get where we're at and stay where we're at. There came actually a time when um, the family was experiencing some financial setbacks, and my father actually got laid off. It was actually a few days before Christmas. My money ran out. That was a stinger, especially when you're, when you see that diploma. I was only about a semester away from graduating. I begged, I needed help. I mean, I was asking aunts and uncles that didn't have babies yet, see so, you know, <laughs> if you could pay me in advance for some babysitting. Diana Jansen just, just, she helped me. Uh, she helped me and I truly believe lifted every rock opened every window and opened every door to go ahead and try to see if she can get me some money so I can go ahead and, and stay, and she did. I was gonna be able to stay at NIU. I cannot explain to you the feeling once you come out of that big convo center you know, they got you in the big gym, they're lining you up in alphabetical order. And let me tell you, I scanned me some tickets because I wanted my family, friends, uh, just everybody to go ahead and be here and to walk out and see that big screen up in the sky and people cheering on and clapping, it was, um, it was surreal. It was surreal. I'm here. I have a college diploma. I walk with more respect, and most importantly, my parents walk around with head high. You know, being a, I'm first generation here, so I'm the first to go ahead and have a college degree. And it's a great feeling for them. You know, they, they didn't just impact me, they impacted my whole family. To this day, my dad talks about me like I'm the little kid who scored the winning home run, at, you know, at a little league game. It's, it's, he's very proud, and he's very proud of what I've been able to do, and he's very grateful for that. See, my dad's one of those guys. I remember one day I was coming home from work, and I was, I was young, and I, you know, I loved my dad. I loved my dad. And I was like, I don't wanna go ahead and really, you know, I'm not sure if I wanna go ahead and do this or do that. I just wanna go ahead and, you know, I wanna do what you do, you know? Mm -hmm. Mom, dad, you know, we got a good house. Things are going good. I wanna be just like you. Man, did he get mad at me. I didn't understand why. It's like, why, why uh, I thought, you know, I'm thinking it's like, you know, I wanna be like my dad. How could that be wrong? He looked at me with all seriousness and he says, I don't work every day so you can be just like me. I want you to be better than me. And it's like, I'm sitting and it's like, but I think you're great. It's like, I want you to be better than me. And years pass by, I'll never forget that in reflection and it makes perfect sense. Why do we do anything? We want to do something better for ourselves or something for our future and for my mom and my dad. I am that future. I did very well and actually got a job before I even graduated. I got called from a very well-respected high school in Naperville here, and um, I've been teaching there this, uh, this year, learning a lot of new things. I think the part that I love about it is I can go ahead and uh, give back, which is one of the big reasons why I went even into the profession. They walk out their own lives, their own story. And it's great because I get to go ahead and I get to be a part of that. Jose will do what he wants to do and whatever he does, he will be a success because he won't give up until he is a success. I would like to see maybe in say 10 years or so, I would truly like to see Jose be one of the leaders in math education in not only just Nequa Valley, but in the state of Illinois. And I think that he's perfectly capable of doing that.
But the thing is that I'm just one. You know how many other people that have more potential than I do? Imagine if we can go ahead and help out others. You can go ahead and army of great people. You could really go ahead and have an impact.